Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. It's a beautiful day to show you how to make easy fabric Christmas trees and the great maker show and tell. I am always looking for new ideas for holiday decorations. I've shared designs for my paper star lanterns on top of my trees here and my winter wreath over my mantle. And I realized I haven't created many designs using fabric yet. And believe me, I love Christmas fabrics. So let's make a super easy project together. Let's make these fabric Christmas trees. Now for this project, you need one half yard of fabric in whatever pattern or color you want. You can use fat quarters if you'd like. You'll also need an iron-on adhesive to keep your fabric stiff. I recommend heat and bond extra firm, but anything that allows it to stand up straight works fine. I also recommend a fabric adhesive to keep the tree together. Tools used in this project include an iron or the Cricut Easy Press, um, a way to cut your fabric. I use the Maker and my rotary blade with a pink fabric mat, but you could use the Explore with the fine point blade, or you can just use scissors. And that's it, super easy. Now you just need the pattern for the tree. You're gonna find the free tree designs over on my blog. So let me show you where to find the designs and then I will show you how to cut and assemble your tree. Step one, get the tree design. Download the free fabric tree design from my blog at jennifermaker.com 262. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for design 262 and then click it to download an SVG cut file for cutting on a Cricut or another cutting machine, as well as a PDF for cutting by hand. Step two, prepare the fabric. To show you how easy this is to do, my design elf will assemble this project while I talk you through it. First, you must prepare your fabric before you cut it. To begin, measure and cut your fabric and fusible interfacing. For each set of trees, you'll want to cut a total of four 12 by 12 inch squares of fabric. And two 11 and a three quarters by 11 and three quarters squares of fusible interfacing. Now place your first layer of fabric wrong side up on your ironing surface. Center your fusible interfacing um, on the square of fabric with the paper side facing up. Be sure you read the manufacturer's directions on your package of interfacing to, to see exactly how to adhere it to your fabric as each interfacing works a little differently. Apply a good amount of pressure while ironing your interfacing to your fabric. After your first layer is cool to the touch, remove the paper backing and set it aside. Repeat with a second square of fabric and interfacing, being careful to put the fabric wrong side up and the interfacing paper side up. Again, when it's cool to the touch, remove the paper backing. Now just place your third 12 by 12 square of fabric over one of the first two squares that you already prepared. If your fabric has a directional print, be sure to match each side before you iron it. And then iron it again following your manufacturer's directions. And then repeat for the last square. When you're done, you should have two pieces of fabric with interfacing adhered to the wrong side sandwiched in between them, both those two pieces of fabric. It will feel a little plasticky in your hands and it should be stiff with the interfacing, but the interfacing should be in between your two pieces of fabric. Step three, cut the fabric. Let me show you how to cut these fabric trees on a Cricut Explorer or Cricut Maker cutting machine. First, upload the SVG cut file that you downloaded in step one to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com slash SVGS. 
The trees are all ready to cut once you upload them, but feel free to resize or hide any of the trees you do not want. Just be aware that you need at least two cut trees of the same size to make one standing tree. When you're ready, click the green Make It button. Now click Browse All Materials and choose the Bonded Fabric setting on the Explorer or the Burlap setting on the Maker. And also be sure to choose More Pressure for either. First, I'll show you how to cut fabric on a Cricut Explorer. Place your fabric on a green standard grip cutting mat and use a brayer to adhere the fabric really well to your mat. Now load the mat into your Cricut Explorer. Put the fine point blade or the bonded fabric blade, both will work fine in this case, into the clamp. Click the flashing button to have your Cricut cut your fabric. When done, unload your mat and carefully remove your cut pieces. Note, if you have issues cutting fabric on your Cricut Explorer, make sure you're using a clean and sticky mat for the best results. You may also need to increase your pressure or cut twice. To cut fabric on the Cricut Maker, place your fabric on a green standard grip mat or a pink fabric grip mat and use a brayer to ad adhere the fabric really well to your mat. Now load the mat into your Cricut Maker. Put the rotary tool into the clamp. Click the flashing button to have your Cricut Maker cut your fabric. When done, unload your mat and carefully remove your cut pieces. If you find any threads that didn't quite cut through, just snip them with a pair of scissors or a craft knife where needed. Step four, assemble your fabric Christmas trees. Now let's put the tree together. Just slide one tree piece onto its pair to create a stand-up fabric tree. You can glue the interior edges of your two tree parts to one another to keep the tree together if you want to. Step five, show off your fabric tree. Aren't these fabric trees just so adorable? You could make so many so fast. This is a really fun and easy project. Wasn't that easy? I recommend you make a variety of different sizes and group them together like I have here. Now remember, if you have any fraying at the edges of your trees, use the liquid adhesive along the edges and then trim any threads for a nice clean look. If you have any questions about how to cut or work with fabric and want to help, leave your question below this video or ask over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, where you're gonna find a whole bunch of awesome crafters just like you happy to help. Now, if you need a Cricut Maker cutting machine like I have, I give one away every month. You can enter for your chance to win your own Cricut cutting machine at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. And that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'll be back to show you how to decorate and personalize flower sack towels. These make awesome gifts. Remember, I'm always open to your project ideas. If you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. <laughs>